Welcome to Christ the King Church, Shelby, North Carolina's Healing Center. Hi, I'm Melinda, Pastor Moore's daughter. Welcome to our broadcast. Relax and enjoy our teaching. Well, good morning. So, so, all y'all back to school now? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You hate it? That's a way to be Sophia. Love it. I hate it. You hate it? Yeah. Yep. Uh, see, I have put on so much wool. Yeah, but you're going to have to do this for the rest of your life. You're just getting started. This is going to be the enjoyable time of it because you're just getting started. You've not even got going yet in life. Isn't that nice to know? This is what you get looked forward to for the rest of your lives. I, 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 just wanna, I just wanna be thirty I just wanna be twenty five years old so you, I can you do. You know, you talk to any 25-year-old, and they were wishing that they were your age again because they want to be back in school instead of having to be out working all day. Isn't that hard to believe? You can be, you can be 25, <laughs> you can be like 26 if you if you were college. Yeah, yeah, well. Hopefully you're finishing up by the time you're 26. Let's hope you're getting out of college by the time you're that old. You're going to have to do a lot of work to be to be, still be in college then. But anyway, we got a skit today that's, that's about going back to school. Oh, okay. No, no. Yes, this little girl's getting ready to go back to school. See, she's got her backpack here. She's getting ready to go. What's her backpack? All right. So let's get, everybody let's get quiet, get ready. Here they come. All right. Oh, wait a minute. We can't do this. I forgot. Your face is in the I don't have the remote to, to start the skit. Oh, thank you. All right, now let's see if I can get this thing started here. Here, come on up here. Sit down. All right. Uh, uh, ah! This thing is so heavy. Why do we need to have so many things for school? Hi, Brittany. Why are you still carrying all that stuff around? Stuff? This isn't mere stuff. Inside my Barbie pencil box, I've got 10 number two red pencils, neatly sharpened, two pink erasers, crayons, markers, school glue, a 12 inch ruler marked in both inches and centimeters, left handed scissors, clear tape, notebooks, folders, a paint shirt, tissue, calculator, oh, and enough scratch and sniff stickers to wallpaper the janitor's closet. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Why don't you keep it in your desk like the rest of the world? Hi, Brittany. Hi, Philip. What's in the backpack, Britt? Well, inside my Barbie pencil box... Oh, Barbie! She's my favorite! She's so blonde! That's not funny. I've got ten number two red pencils, neatly sharpened, two pink erasers, crayons, markers, Okay, okay, Brittany. I think I've got the picture. The store had to restock after she left. Do you have room in that backpack for the armor of God? The what? The armor of God? You gotta take the armor of God to school with you. The sword of the spirit might puncture her Barbie pencil box. Very funny. Besides, my school has a... A zero tolerance policy on weapons. The sword is not a good idea. The sword is a good idea. The sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. You know the Bible. Not another book. You know how heavy those things are to carry around. Her locker is only so big. In Ephesians 6, Paul tells us about the armor of God. Every good soldier wears the full armor when he or she goes into the battlefield. That way he can stand his ground. You watch too many late night news programs. Our schools are not battlefields. It's really just an illustration. I know your school is not a battlefield. And I don't really want you to bring a sword to school. 
but I do want you to put on the whole armor of God every day as you're getting ready for school. Won't that get a little bulky under my jeans and designer t-shirts? I'm speaking figuratively again. When you snap those jeans, think about the belt of truth. Are you truthful? Any lies? Then comes the breastplate of righteousness. Oh, what's that? In battle, a breastplate protects your heart. So when you put on your shirt, think of the breastplate of righteousness and your heart. Is your heart pure? My heart? Then your shoes. When you put on your shoes, think about the stinky things in your life. Anything stinky that you should ask forgiveness for? Stinky things? <laughs> ha! Huh. Then comes the helmet of salvation. Won't that smash your hairdo? A helmet protects your brain, right? And your brain is where your thoughts happen, right? So, I should have good thoughts, right? When you comb your hair before school, you do comb your hair, don't you, Phil? Uh, sure. When you're combing your hair in the morning, think about your brain and your thoughts. Are they pure and good? The last two pieces of the armor of God are the shield of faith and the sword of the spirit. Not that sword thing again. And a shield too? The shield of faith blocks the fiery arrows from the enemy. Zero tolerance on that weapons thing, remember? I'm speaking figuratively again. If someone in school tells you that you're no good, that's like the enemy shooting flaming arrows at you. So I whip out that shield and block it, huh? The shield of faith will block it, because your faith will say, you are good. God loves you. Well, yeah, the Bible tells us that. And the Bible is the word of God, the sword of the spirit. I get it. If we know what the Bible says, we can fight the battle and win! And stand our ground! Now you're ready for school! Alright, so how many of y'all have got what the armor of God is? What is it? Starting here. The helmet. Helmet of salvation. Right? That protects your mind. Alright? So you got the helmet of salvation. And you've got what? The breastplate. The breastplate of righteousness. And that protects your heart. And then you've got the belt of truth. The belt of truth. And then your feet. Stinky things. The feet that are prepared. To walk for the preparation, and then you've got your shield of shield armor. Your shield to protect you from all the fiery darts of everything that's thrown at you, and then you've got your sword. Of your the sword spirit. of the spirit. What is the sword of the spirit? The Bible. The Bible, the Word of God, and that is to do damage in the spirit world. Yep. Yeah. That's right. Just like yep. just like the, the sword does damage in the physical, the Bible and the sword of God does damage in the in the spiritual world. Amen? Yeah. Hey, yeah, that's yeah. it. All right. Y'all can go back to your seats well, now. Thank you for joining us. You're welcome to follow us on Facebook, YouTube, our website. Our Lord is building his kingdom. Join us in helping our Lord harvesting souls for his kingdom. Thank you for watching Christ the King Church, Shelby, North Carolina's Healing Center. Visit our website, www.christthekingshelby.org, and check us out on Facebook and YouTube.